who doesn't love it when something great happens to them, especially when it's a surprise? You know, when you walk into a room and are unexpectedly met by your loved ones wishing you a happy birthday or congratulations, whether that's on a job promotion or something else. Or you have someone buy you something that you really wanted, whether that's a bike, a TV, a car. Well, this is a picture of my good friend Joe with his first bass guitar that I bought for him. And no, this is not a video about me flexing on how great of a person I am, but instead this is a video on a biblical principle put into practice. So that biblical principle is blessing others to then be blessed yourself. So in Proverbs 11.25 in the New Living Translation, it says, The generous shall prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Now you may have heard of this in some other capacity like what goes around comes around or what you reap is based on what you sow, which is actually another biblical principle that I'm not going to get into right now. But I've also even seen this in anime where a character talks about what you do for other people will then come around to help you in the end. So I'm going to share the story of how my buddy Joe got his first bass guitar and how that actually blessed me as well and at the end of the video I'm going to talk about some ways that you could bless other people and a couple of reasons why you may not feel like you're receiving your blessings so let's get right into it my buddy Joe mentioned to me a year or two ago that he wanted to get a bass guitar and that he had been saving up for one well I have a bass guitar and so I said how about you borrow mine so that way you can see if you like it and then if you do like it you continue to save up and get your own bass guitar and then give mine back once you do or if it turns out you don't really like it, then you can just give me my bass guitar back and that way you didn't have to spend any money. So he agreed to that idea and I tried out the bass before sending it off to him to make sure everything was working. And as it turns out, a couple of things were broken with the bass and it was going to cost more money than what the bass was worth to have it fixed. And I also didn't want to invest the time in learning how to fix it because my son had just been born at the time and I was trying to figure out how to be a father. So I reached back out to him and said, hey, sorry, this isn't really going to work out with me letting you borrow this bass. Um, just please continue to save up for your bass guitar. But in my mind, I had already determined that I was going to buy him his first bass. Fast forward to this year, we had actually planned a trip to go to Sweetwater, which if you don't know what that is, it's a music store that's in Indiana. And I wanted to try out some guitars. He wanted to try out some bass guitars. So it really worked out for us to go together. We go there and he tries out some bass guitars. And the one that I really wanted him to try was a Squire jazz bass because I had heard a lot of good things about that bass guitar. Well, they didn't have any on the floor room, but they were willing to go get them from their warehouse for him to try. He didn't want them to do that because he wasn't planning on getting a bass and I didn't want to reveal right away that I was going to be buying him a bass guitar so we just kind of let that go well Sweetwater has a gear exchange thing where you can sell them your gear that you have and I had already brought a couple of guitars with me that I wanted to offload so we went and did that and while we were browsing around while they were appraising my guitars um, he saw a Squire jazz bass on the wall and was like hey uh, let's let me try this bass and so I was like cool yeah go for it do you like it and he played a couple notes on it and was like yeah this is this is a pretty cool bass and I was like great I'm gonna buy it for you and just seeing the look of joy on his face really made my day and that's why I love doing nice things for people because you're not supposed to do it to expect anything in return but just seeing the joy on their face is priceless to me so that is the story on how Joe got his first bass guitar now, if you remember, I said that I also was blessed by this, and that blessing was threefold. The first thing that I was blessed by was I was able to offload those guitars, and there was a guitar that I wanted, and I was going to use the money that I got from those guitars to get one used from Sweetwater. Well, unfortunately, the price that I was quoted didn't cover the cost of that guitar, but that was not an issue for me. I was like, I'll just wait and continue to save up. Well, I actually found a used version of that guitar from, it was a Strandberg uh, Pliny guitar, and I found a used one on their B-Stock Reverb store, and I added it to my liked list, if you will, and then I actually got an email with a 10% off, so I was able to get the guitar for less than what I was quoted for my other guitars and pay for his bass and still have money left over. Now, don't get it twisted because it's not like I was using that money to get his bass. I would have gotten him a bass regardless of if I sold those guitars or not. So I just wanted to make that clear. Now, the other blessing that I got from this was Joe's old Apple Watch. Now, I'm not wearing it because it needs to charge, but I had really wanted an Apple Watch, but I didn't tell him. And so it was just really cool to get one for free because I didn't really want to spend the money to get one at the time. And the third blessing that I got from this, which is the most important to me, is I now have a friend that I can jam with. 
Now I have some friends that play guitar and I can jam with them, but there's something special about jamming with people that play other instruments to you. I feel like that can really complement your playing style quite well. And so we've already jammed a couple of times and we just play covers of songs, but it's really cool because I've seen him develop in this short amount of time from not really knowing how to play the bass to now he's playing covers of songs and it's really cool seeing his growth and having a friend that I can play guitar with. So if you're curious on how to bless other people, it can be as simple as buying someone a cup of coffee, filling up their gas, making them a meal, or it could be as easy as just giving someone a smile and a wave and saying, hi, how are you? Or texting that friend you haven't texted in a long time and say, hey, I've just been thinking about you. I hope you're doing well. Because ultimately, we don't know how that's going to bless someone unless they tell us, but you never know until you do it. And I just want to reiterate, a smile and a wave can go a long way, especially to a stranger, because we don't know the types of days that people are having and so they might be having a really bad day and a smile and a wave could really brighten that up for them and if you're saying to yourself hey i bless a lot of people why am i not being blessed well i would like to encourage you to take a step back because that could be for a few different reasons uh, i'm not going to give you all of them now but it could be because maybe you are receiving your blessings but you're denying them i've already made a video on this about <laughs> not denying your blessings but you could be refusing something from someone whether it's someone wants to buy you something and you're like oh no you don't have to do that or maybe you haven't waited long enough to receive your blessing those are a couple of reasons but obviously not all of them but i just encourage you to take a step back and really examine the things that you do have because you would be surprised if you just stop and think about all the things that you do have that you'll be blessed by it so with all of that being said seek to bless other people and serve other people and see what that does in your life Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, stay cool like a cloud and have a great day.